Hi everybody, welcome back to Harmon Speaks. We've had a big shift in the last couple of weeks I wanted to let you know about. We now have over a thousand subscribers. Woo I would clap but I keep missing. But anyway, I am. Uh, okay, bad joke. I'm sorry. I, 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 only well, you're allowed to make it. It's a dad joke. What can I do? Anyway, <laughs> I'm very excited about the number. Thank you so much for all of our friends who joined in a long time ago and have stuck with us. It's been a long four-year journey, and we really appreciate you being along for the ride. Thank you for helping us. One thing we do still need is more hours of people actually watching. So please watch the videos if you can. Please get your friends to watch, your family to watch. Uh, we're trying to put some good things out into the world, and we can do it only if we get support. So please help us. I appreciate it. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so today, and please like. Today, we are meeting with a honest to goodness friend of mine I always say that but it's really true here <laughs> not only is she my friend but we're twins okay we have different parents and she's uh, not born on the exact same year as I was <coughs> yeah I did not put it the wrong way but uh, <laughs> we are twins because we both love Star Trek and that should be enough to make you family but this is my friend Betsy Pickle. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Barry. I am very glad to have you on the show today. Thank you. Well, I know you were scraping the bottle of the barrel. <laughs> Pickle barrel. Oh, that's terrible. But that, that's almost people. worse than my joke. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, I got to give you some uh, applause for, for doing it. But anyway, today, uh, Betsy is uh, also a worker with me here at Spark. And uh, she actually does work, which <laughs> I find humorous, uh, and certainly don't do. And Gary, you know what I always say? What's that? I love work. I could watch it for hours. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. I like. And that's all I do with it now is just watch it. But that's okay. Um, but you know a lot more about the ins and outs of the organization than I do, and I appreciate you being here today. Now we are not going to do a sales pitch on Spark. What we're going to be talking about is some of the equipment that we have available for any person with a disability who might need them. Uh, there may be things you may need and you don't know they already exist. So we're going to just show you a few things. We're also going to show you some durable medical equipment and some vision equipment. And if you are a person with a disability in this area and you need some help, contact us. I'll ask Neil to put the phone number on the screen for us. Just give us a call and we can help you. Once again, we're not really doing a commercial for Spart. Spart's a nonprofit. They're not going to get rich from your calling, but they are going to do what makes us feel rich and let, you, let us help you. So let us know if we can. Well, Betsy, I see you've got some tools over there. Would you give me a little tour? Gary, I thought you were going to give me supper. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever eaten my cooking, you know you more need more than utensils. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. No thanks. Well, that's what the spice cabinet's for. Okay. So, um, some people, like Gary, yeah. might not have hands, and sometimes they have hands, but they don't have control necessarily uh -huh. of all their muscles and things. So a regular uh, fork or spoon might not cut it for them. So we have really brilliant staffers and volunteers mm -hmm. who can adapt everyday items to help people be able to maneuver them. Right. Can you show with yeah, your? Sure, sure. Now I don't use one of these but it's because it didn't exist 63 years ago. So I learned to use a regular fork. And as you can tell by my size, I use it regularly. But I use both arms when I eat, so I can cut it from the side, scoop, and eat that way. Uh, this is probably, would take me a while to get used to it. But because I don't really hold really small things well, if I were going to use a fork with one hand, this is what I would need. Yeah. But I use both to do it that way. Yeah. So, well, and of course, <coughs> Fork's partner, 
spoon. spoon. Very important for the main course of a dinner. Ice cream. Ice cream. I knew it. I knew you were going to say that. Well, yeah. it could have been soup. No. I do like soup. You do, but ice cream is more important. Ice cream is more important. It has dairy, which is delicious, mm -hmm. and it has, because it has dairy, it has protein, which go. every pickle needs. So, <laughs> anyway, um, some things that they have adapted here are familiar, but they might be a little different. Mm -hmm. So, say, you might have been used to seeing tongs. But what if you don't have the muscle ability to get those tongs to work together? So they have added a spatula, which is ingenious and can help make sure that you get your recommended daily allowance of all the fruits and vegetables and beef and vegetables and ice cream and vegetables and all the vegetables you need. <laughs> so. Anyway. Now, may I see that one moment? Oh. I, I'm just going to point out one other thing. If you're using this as a spatula, that's fine too. But one thing that it allows you to do, and my hand's not big enough to do it, but let's say you're going to flip a hamburger or something, you slip under it and press that down on top, and it allows you to hold it. Whereas when Daddy Harmon flips his hamburgers outside of the grill, they may be on the grill, they may be on the lawn, the dog may love me more than he should. <laughs> Who knows? Grill to ground. Right. <laughs> Gary ground. is immensely but, talented. And I had no doubt about it. But this will help alleviate a lot of accidents. Well, they? and I mean, burgers are just the beginning to right. be alliterative. <laughs> Scrambled eggs, scoop them, serve them. Right. I'm right. telling you. Right. You know, right. we think outside the box here right. at Spark. That's true. Sometimes we think in an oval shape. What do you suppose that was supposed to be? I think it's to help the smaller hands because it squishes and so you can hold it with a small. This would probably be more helpful to me than the hard one. Okay. Because you would you put it in that way and, and eat. I am not shaking because I'm trembling. I'm, I'm hungry. And there's no food here. So, anyway, uh, that have, song. Have you seen Barbie? No. If you've seen Barbie, you know what it's like to live a life with an empty fork <laughs> and an empty cup. Yep. So, so in a way, okay. very clever. Barbie has a disability. Okay, we'll talk about that on the next show. <laughs> uh, Harmon speaks. Okay, <laughs> we're going to change rooms for just a moment and show you some vision equipment. All right, Betsy, uh, thank you for bringing us in here. This is our vision center, and there are a lot of different things that we can use with people who have uh, low vision or maybe no vision. Show us a few things, if you don't mind. Well, um, you see these screens okay. on each yeah. side of me. Right. Well, we have one turned on, but we got it over in this corner. Okay. And basically, what a person with vision challenges can yeah. do is put some type of reading material and it's attached to a monitor of uh, this base Would you is like attached to, to the monitor. Over here yeah, is. we yeah. can go. Oh, yeah. Can we do that, Neil? Yeah. yeah. You're mobile. Yeah. We're oh, mobile. Okay. There you do it. Alright. Okay. So say so you have your reading material down here uh -huh. and the reader in this device will enlarge it to the size that you need. So uh -huh. we can crank it up. Now that might not be all that useful on a sheet of music, however, if you're working a crossword puzzle, that could be helpful. And we have a wide variety of um, instruments like these. People could come in and read material that they bring or learn about them and then if they want to, they'll, they'll purchase one, they'll have a better idea of what they specifically need right. and we have a vision specialist Nancy who is herself visually challenged and she knows all about all of these things we have gadgets I haven't even seen used yet now Nancy also offers a course to people interested called JAWS yes uh, what is that exactly? it's a very complicated program but Nancy is qualified to teach it and so she can 
teach people how to use that machine mm -hmm. and they can use it to get a job, they can use it to work right. on a job, mm -hmm. and it really opens up new worlds to people right. who might otherwise not have access to mm -hmm. the working world in a way that really gives them the ability to use all their talents. Okay, great, so. great. And this really frees up a lot of people with low vision so they can work and, yeah. and surf the internet doing whatever they need, buying, shopping, whatever they need. Yeah. So I, I think it's a great program. I mean, if you think about it, the pandemic sort of kind of put us on a level playing field mm -hmm. because we were all stuck at home right. with hopefully our computers or other devices. Mm -hmm. You know, we were all having to order groceries and mm -hmm. toilet paper and mm -hmm clothing mm -hmm. online and this is the kind of need the thing that um, people with visual handicaps can use to be just at the same level as anyone mm -hmm. with sight so mm -hmm. right. you know right. no one left behind well let's go take a look at some durable medical equipment okay all right thank you we are now in the uh, the durable medical equipment room this is the kind of equipment that uh, helps people with mobility impairments and, and various impairments and uh, they help them overcome those. Uh, these are donated. We re-donate them uh, to the public. I'm going to ask Betsy in a minute to tell us a little bit about how that works. First of all, we walked in and saw this chair and I don't know what this chair does. So will you tell us a little bit about this, Betsy? This is a piece of positioning equipment, and it's uh, a lot of the stuff that's in this room is for pediatric okay. customers. Uh -huh. um, this can help a child who needs extra support in sitting up. Okay. So, and it's actually on top of a tub. It normally would be on the floor, okay. but um, something like this would probably cost the parents about three thousand dollars brand new but because we get it at, as donations and then our equipment manager fernando cleans things tests them make sure they're sturdy and safe and then we will dispense it to someone in need now if i'm a family with a uh, family member who needs some of this equipment what do we do to get it well, um, you can contact us two ways, actually three. You can call us, and Neil will have the number, mm -hmm. but it's 865-219-0130. Okay. And speak to either me or Fernando, okay. who is our equipment manager. Okay. And you know, you tell us what you're looking for, okay. and we have to go through and see if we can have it. Sure. Because, you know, we get a lot of turnover. Right. And, uh, you could also go to our website, which is uh, www.sparktn.org. Okay. Um, we are also on Facebook as Spark Independence Through Technology, and you can send us a message there. So yes, okay. there are three ways. Okay. Or you can, you know, bump into one of us somewhere else, somewhere else and say, hey, I think I need something. Okay, we'll great. Get great. our friends. Right. Total strangers. Did you yeah. get it for free or did they pay you something? Um, well, as I say, we are a nonprofit organization. All right. And in order for us to keep our doors open, we need help from the community. Right. So we do accept donations. Okay. And there's, you know, there's we never turn anyone away. Sure. If they don't have any money to right. donate, if they're late, means are so limited that they can't even come up with five dollars or ten dollars okay. we will give them equipment okay. but we, if we gave every single person everything we had mm -hmm. we would not be open okay sure of course all right well let's take a look at the room shall we mm -hmm. see what sort of things we have here all right uh, now this is a rollator um, it actually has a seat on it for those who need to sit down at some point. So that's, that's, and this is a rollator as well. So we have several of those. Tell me some of the other things we have here. Well, we have a lot of pieces of equipment that people are familiar with. Right. So right. you have 
we, standard wheelchairs with the big wheels that people can roll themselves in. Right. We have transport chairs, which don't have the big wheels like a wheelchair, but they're easier for people to get in and out of the car uh -huh. and say, go to the doctor. Okay. You know, so it's easier for the person assisting them to help maneuver them. And then we have what we call regular walkers, okay. aluminum walkers, which right. can come with just sort of a rubber nub at the end of the back legs uh -huh. and then small wheels at the front and people right. are, you know, self ambulatory with sure. those. Uh -huh. We also have wheel uh, rollators uh -huh. and rollators are what you're talking about. Typically, uh, a, a typical rollator would have a small bench that lifts up right. and then you could pull the actual seat up mm -hmm. uh, and let it collapse so that you can get it in and out of the car easy. Okay. Right. So, but then we also have, you know, regular, we have the regular walkers, but we also have things called hemi walkers, which you might expect uh -huh. if you're a student of English, uh -huh. are half of a walker. Right. So it's for one side. Okay. And those are very helpful for people who don't really need the whole uh -huh. apparatus around them. Okay. So, Great. Um, but we also have things as, as low tech as a cane right. um, or even crutches. Right. So, and to go along with the wheelchairs, we have wheelchair pads for seats. Right. So, um, it's right. it's amazing how many items there are available mm -hmm. for people who need just a right. little extra help getting around. Right, right. Well, thank you for talking to us about this. The message here is, once again, we're not bragging about the equipment we have because we hope this goes out the door in the next couple of days and we get more stuff in. Mm -hmm. But the goal here is to remind you that if you need a little extra help in any part of your life, don't just sit at home and suffer. Let us know. We want to help you. That's why we exist. So give us a call, email us, get on Facebook, drive by, whatever you need to do, and let us know what you need. And if we don't have it, we'll figure it out. Well, Go and ahead. we do, again, we have pediatric equipment. Right. And we have equipment for adults. Right. We have standard sizes, and we get in bariatric sizes. Right. So, you know, we try we to find anything that we don't have on hand. We seek it out and we try to help people as much as we can. Right. You know, and so it doesn't matter what age you are or how severe your disability is. Right. You know, we have, like I say, things as simple as canes. Right. Thank you uh, for joining us today. Thank you, Betsy, for helping us take a tour through all this. Please don't sit there and suffer. If you need some help, let us know. Thank you for watching Harmon Speaks. Please continue to support us. We're trying to do some good in the world. Please come help us. Thank you and have a good evening.